All right, we are recording. So there. And this is chapter six, the fall. I think it is. It'll say soon enough. Once it finishes loading. <clears throat> yep, the fall. And it's chapter. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. My slow clap processor made it into this thing, so we have that. Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere, alarmingly fast actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. Hey, just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. I don't really remember how GLaDOS survives the fall. I know that eventually she is just stuck on the end of the portal gun. Ah. There's GLaDOS right there. The boat. <sighs> I like exploring, even when I know that this isn't going to reveal anything. He has all this light coming from. We're really multiple kilometers down. Seriously, where's all this light coming from? It's like we have very bright ambient light, several kilometers under the ground. Those are services in Portal 2, but that is. That, that's... Okay, I'm not sure why I'm sliding. Oh, right there. Not the way to go, I 
think. Would I be able to get back up there if I kept going? Looks like I should be able. Okay, let's. Oh, that is the way to go. Okay. Because this is just the other side of that. better at least. didn't immediately realize that that was going to be possible. This is a very big door. I'm just have to ask you, why does this seem to be the rundown part? I mean, I understand the whole it's lower down aspect, but considering this would be, like, the last section you could build, because of how far down you'd have to dig and such, wouldn't this be, like, the newest area? I mean, unless you built the entire thing all in one go, in which case... That's... That would be very, very damn impressive. Um, we are talking, you know, potentially in cubic kilometers for size here. Of, uh, aperture. So, do not go in there. I mean, I don't know how wide this is, but... And we were passing signs that said like 3,500 meters, so it's over three kilometers deep, and however wide. Carolyn, my assistant. 
Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carol? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's a backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. thing I'm seeing that makes some sense. Yep. Ow. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. in a giant salt mine. But it's still, I think you would build lower down for, uh, last. It would be the news because that's going to be where it's hardest to get things. We're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. get over there. Here it is. I, I spotted one going up that looked like that was a portal surface. Yep. Look like there's anything down there currently. Let's hit that. I might end up needing it. say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. I guess that's one way to look at it.
tonight, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Alright, ah, nothing back here. Mm, well, Possibly nothing. I don't know where this ends up leading me if I keep going over here. It leads me nowhere. Alright. It's like I do need to fall down. Whee! For this next Boom. test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Why would it be on the walls if not to do this? That that is my explanation for <clears throat> why I thought to do that. Alright, there. There. And I Yeah, okay, I do. Uh no I don't. Now I have the momentum. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. He could be more useful. He really could be more useful.
All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Okay. I don't see this working, but... Yeah, it does. Alright. Nothing up here. Ha! I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Rats are expensive. calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Eventually, I'm now, gonna if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're gonna need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. So here we see that it, uh, the water washes it off.
That might help. was close. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. That did not seem to really get me anywhere. How do I get back? trying to go. Okay, I guess I'm trying to get up there. Looks like I need to get up there. How? Yeah, just how. That gets me there, but I, I can't do anything that. What am I missing? Okay, that will hopefully work, just in case.
Oh, the Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science that you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fire? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. I'm guessing this is before he had an HR part. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. There's anything over here. Although it does tell us right there. Four kilometers down and we are you know, up from where we actually landed, so. Yeah, it is a very deep facility. That somehow has ambient light throughout. Find out what the orange gel is for soon enough. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. Okay. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. I'm not sure if I can make it over there. Oop. Ah, damn it. Oh, that might be easier. There we go. 
Funny if she got uh, zapped by that. I mean, of course, that would prevent the game from progressing, but it still would have been funny if that happened. Like, in just an alternate ending, that happens, and then just the explosion that Weekly causes. Hey, hey! We're at the end of the chapter. Alright. Uh. Yeah. See you next time.